oceanography is what we are beginning with. So the first question I'm taking up is, or uh, some discussion I'm taking up is, not question, I'm dealing with uh, ocean warming. Okay, this is my first discussion point. Now, ocean warming may, you must know some facts. Facts may, for example, there is the assessment report by IPCC, I think 2015 ka hai, that says more than 90% of excess heat since the 1970s has been absorbed by the oceans. This is a fact. This is a fact. This is amount of heat. Hai. Okay. This is approximately equal to or uh, in, in, in the last 25 years, the amount of heat oceans have absorbed is more than 3.6 billion atom bombs used in Hiroshima bombings. Temperatures have increased. Temperatures have increased at the rate of more than 0 0.11 degrees centigrade per decade and likely increase would be one to four degrees centigrade by two one zero zero. The core fact is something called as marine heat waves. I've heard about this concept called marine heat waves. This is when the temperatures of the ocean are above expected levels for more than five days at a stretch. It's called as marine heat wave when the temperatures of the oceans are more than are above the expected levels for more than five days at a stretch they're also called as warm blobs in the last in the 20th century we have had 30 percent more heat waves marine heat waves and uh, more severe more severe has been in northeast pacific and this marine heat waves of northeast pacific has impacted uh, uh, salmon fishing it has impacted salmon fishing it has impacted okay hurricane frequencies it also results in algae bloom that are toxic, poisonous algae bloom. So, here are facts about the ocean water temperatures. See, most of us do not use this because it's a current affairs based topic. The marine heat waves, they have been more severe in the Northeast Pacific. Northeast Pacific, coast of Alaska, in Hawaiian islands, like along the Californian coast. I've picked up data from IPCC, okay, and NOAA, okay, it's of ocean uh, observations, eh? okay, use this data please, marine heat waves, okay, and the rest. And uh, also mention that uh, ocean warming has been very severe in Western Antarctica, uh, South Pacific area. We have this area called as Belling Hossen Basin. Okay, ocean warming, link it to some location, link it to some reports, tell us some places, you could draw a map for this. Okay, for these things, you could use a graph. Marine heat wave is a phenomena when the temperatures of the ocean are above the expected level for more than five days at a stretch. It's 
एवरेज टेम्परेचर होना चाहिए थर्टी द टेम्परेचर इज थर्टी टू और थर्टी थ्री फॉर फाइव एट अ स्ट्रेच ओके इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द वॉर्म ब्लॉक ये पैसेफिक में ज्यादा फ्रीक्वेंट हो रहा है ऑल दो लास्ट ईयर वी ऑब्जर्व मरीन हीट वेव ऑल्सो इन द इंडियन ओशन but this has become more frequent frequent in the pacific ocean and it impacts fishing because of warmer waters californian coast is more vulnerable to hurricanes algal bloom some type of algae will start growing more rapidly algal bloom and they release some toxic okay secretions which are bad for the other life forms okay ye aapka factual part ho gaya okay let's move on Now, what are the reasons? एक तो आपका natural reason है There is natural reason. This is related to volcanism and related to tectonics. But this is not the more important one. और एक है natural because of insulation. और एक है anthropogenic. this is related to okay green house gases trapping the heat okay so say this is my world and this is the atmosphere these are mountains on the seas so some amount of heat is released from the tectonic regions ye sun hai some amount of energy comes in from the sun and then i'm saying okay that the some reasons why the atmosphere absorbs more because of which the irradiation towards the ocean the absorption because of the ocean increases so if you look at the reasons this is the bigger reason since the late 19th century ocean warming Okay, or consistent ocean warming has been more because of human factors, because of higher radiation from atmospheric greenhouse gases. What are the reasons? The reasons are natural, tectonic volcanism. it is there but not the most important reason right now natural also includes insulation the energy coming from the sun okay wo bhi factor hai so when we have sun spot cycles the oceans can become warmer but anthropogenic factors is a bigger reason the greenhouse gases which are trapped uh, or which trap the okay radiations from the earth they are re-radiating back into the oceans so this is a more important factor since the late 19th century consistent ocean warming has been more because of human factors because of higher re-radiation from the atmospheric greenhouse gases ab isse kya ho raha hai there is a chain reaction where warmer oceans release more greenhouse substances they release methane they release carbon dioxide they tend to absorb they tend to absorb and dissolve more salts dekho ye ye aapka ocean hai in this ocean it has now become warmer because it is warmer carbon dioxide will escape because it is warmer carbon dioxide escapes because warmer methane also escapes because of this this is trapping more heat radiating back more and this becomes more warmer this is a classic example of a positive feedback that increases the ocean temperature it's a kind of a chain reaction It's a kind of a chain reaction where warm oceans release more greenhouse gases. Yes, it's like a cascade thing. They release more methane. They release more carbon dioxide. They also absorb more carbon. It's it's a process going on like a chain reaction. 
they tend to absorb more salts which type of water will absorb more heat salty water or fresh water which type of water can absorb more heat salt water or fresh water salt water so it's a kind of a chain reaction now to explain this if you want you can use some kind of schematic here yahan par aap ek flow chart use kar sakte ho yahan par aap ek schematic use kar sakte ho something on the lines warm oceans release green house substances this further warm warm oceans results in acidification and this also can further warm so it's like a chain reaction happening okay warm oceans they can dissolve salts and dissolved salts this can result in further warming of the ocean there's like a chain reaction the consequence of this is ocean chemistry disruption aise aap diagrams bana ke aap dikha sakte ho okay so what are the reasons of ocean warming let's move on now okay then you can refer to what are the consequences now aapka bulk of the answer consequences mein hona chahiye okay consequences mein sea level rise consequences disrupts ocean ecosystems and marine life iska example hai algal bloom disruption of kelp forest impacts coral reefs and please give whatever okay examples you can give this in turn will also impact fishing consequences also include disruption of weather hurricanes give a case study of arabian sea cyclones give example of amphan which was in the month of may which is very very unusual for a cyclone in india sea level rise related coastal submergence mangroves and i think you know the rest so ocean temperature stay all of this you know the specific is what probably you are missing is pe aapke paas thoda bahut data hona chahiye okay what is the amount of sea level rise we are expecting say by 2100 the sea level rise can be more than 2 feet in fact we are fearing india ke case mein submergence of more than 30% of the coastal tracts and estuaries by 2050 there is a kuch data hona chahiye mumbai ka submergence i'm sure aapne suna hai the fears of mumbai submergence in one of these days we will have to plan how to shift mumbai further towards the land abhi shuru nahi hua hai but you know in philippines indonesia they already are planning okay you have to allow for the sea level to rise ab india mein to aap politics se ladna pehle sab band kar do you can plan and shift and you have to acquire land and move back inside the land now so mumbai submergence so that takes care of some amount of sea level rise from here you can also make a reference to okay this is the geography part okay how we can have isostatic disruptions the problems related to melting ice caps if you know about larsen sea shelf or west antarctic ice shelf wais now come to the question the question which i was looking at is a content ban chuka aapka theek hai question is discuss the causes and the consequences of ocean 
water warming in different parts of the world this is 20 marks question discuss the causes and the consequences of ocean water warming in different parts of the world ye important hai okay forget this different parts may kam se kam char panch parts baat kar dena okay warming in northeast pacific warming around antarctica warming of indian ocean and also talk about warming in the depths how that impacts the different parts may you can do this consequences are explained and come to causes so now your answer starts so answer will have an introduction there will be a diagram diagram preferably a schematic bana dena ya fir world map bana kar dikhana and the body will be of causes and consequences causes consequences conclusion may may be futuristic may be solutions may be mitigation efforts this is the answer structure this is half of the page this is approximately one and half page and the conclusion is the last step is it fine all of you so today was your first class so we have not discussed on average i will try discussing four or five questions in every class read out the sub parts the conclusion can be futuristic ki agar aap control nahi karte ho to kya hoga futuristic it can be some solution or it can also be i said mitigation efforts when ice starts melting the distribution of matter will change the matter will get redistributed larsen c shelf w a i s is west antarctic ice shelf the question was discuss the causes and the consequences of ocean water warming in different parts of the world we are talking about disruption of life forms yahan jo baat kar rahe the hum log you can talk about uh, i mentioned impacts fishing it impacts marine food resources but yaad rakho sab kuch likhna hai aapko do page mein two pages so do not try to add too much points okay zyada point add karoge aap handle nahi kar paoge and if you know something more go ahead chalo then we will meet tomorrow again at 10 o'clock today was introducing the concept to you and teaching you one topic so we'll continue tomorrow aur isme answer likh lena and if i can get ready i'll share the model answers with you also theek hai chalo then bye bye do your work read through uh, in your textbook also you can look up agar oceanographic textbook dekh rahe ho you can look up something from your men and oceans ke chapter mein men oceans chapter you have the set in page 446 page 446 by the take care